In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get more views using end screens, cards, and playlists. I made a video about this, but this video is going to be more different from the previous video because in this video, I'm going to explain everything step by step for a beginner, a pro YouTuber, a seasonal YouTuber. It doesn't matter which kind of content you make. I'm going to make sure that this video helps you to understand well how to use end screens, cards, and playlists to get more views on YouTube because this has helped me so much it has helped me so much to grow my channel it has helped me so much to keep engagement on my channel hey creators welcome back for another video if this is your first time to be my channel you're most welcome my name is ben and on this channel i create videos about tools tips and strategies on how to grow on youtube so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you're new on my channel and if you've been watching my videos but you've not subscribed yet please subscribe from this video make sure to like this video please like the video all right let's get started so the first thing you do you go to google chrome using your mobile phone or your desktop for this case i'm going to use a desktop you go to google chrome and search for youtube studio dashboard now when you search for youtube studio dashboard you'll see this website right here and you click on it and when you click on the website, the studio will appear. You have to make sure that your email is logged in. The email link to your YouTube channel. All right, now that you're in, you go direct to content. Now, when you go to content, your videos will pop up. Whether you're monetized or you're not monetized, this is how this page looks like. Now, what you do, you go to a particular video that you want to add these features. For this case, I'm going to use this random video. Now, you go to a video and click on this pencil sign right here. When you click on the pencil sign, this is what will come next. Video details, the title, description, and everything, the thumbnail and the video itself. So what you do next, you just scroll down a little bit down, you'll see end screen and cut. Now, once you see this, you add one by one. For this case, we are going to begin with end screens. So you click on this pencil sign right here to add an end screen in your video. For this video, I've already added an end screen. And when I'm adding end screens in my videos, I always ask people to click on them. I'll play this video here and you'll see how I tell people to click on my end screens. So, all right, let me play this for more videos like this. If your problem is getting watch time on YouTube, Check out this video. I explained everything on how I got over 3,600 watch hours in a period of just seven hours. Not seven days, not seven weeks, not seven months, but seven hours. So check out this video and learn how to get more watch hours very, very quick. All right, thank you so much for watching. Now, when you look at the way I add my end screens, you realize that I just add one end screen and talk about the video, the video I inserted in that end screen. And I'm going to show you how you can do this. By doing this, a viewer, by all chances, they will click on that video. They will watch that video that you insert in the end screen because here I explain how important that video is, how I got over 3,600 watch hours in just a period of seven hours. Someone would be so curious to know what really happened. I'll have more chances of a viewer clicking on that M screen. And this style of adding M screens has really, really helped me because every time someone watches my video, they watch to the end and after watching to the end they click on my end screen to watch another video so this is how i add this kind of end screens the first thing you do you go to element right here where you see element you click here and then you'll see these options there is video playlist subscribe channel and link for this case for this kind of a method you don't need these other options what you do you just click on video the first option here you take video now once you click on video, you set where you pointed in the video. When you are recording, you have to make sure that you point in the direction where that end screen is going to be placed. So for this case, I pointed somewhere here. As you see, my finger is pointing somewhere here. So I have to drag this end screen to the point that I was pointing. Okay. 
So for this case, I'll put this end screen right here. As you see, my finger is right now pointing at the end screen. Now, what I will do next is to choose the video that I was talking about when I was recording this video, the video that I was actually talking about. I was talking about a video where I got over 3,600 watch hours in a period of seven hours. Now, after positioning the end screen, you scroll down here using this arrow, you scroll down, and then you'll see this option, choose specific video. As I said, we have to choose a specific video that I was talking about when I was recording the video. So you just click on this box here. Now, after clicking on the box, they'll bring all your videos on your entire channel. So you have to scroll throughout your videos and choose a specific video that you were talking about. For this case, I was talking about this video right here. I got 3,600 watch hours in seven hours. So what I do next is to just click on the video. And when I click on the video, the video will appear right here. Now, after that, I will literally save. Now, something that I want to talk about before we leave this section, and something that you have to put in your mind. Always make sure that when you're talking about the end screen, use those 20 last seconds, the 20 last seconds of your video. That's where the end screen is placed, at the last 20 seconds of your video. Let's go to the next feature, which is cards right here. With the cards, we just do the same thing. You go to this pencil sign and you click on the pencil sign. And when you click on the pencil sign, this is what you do next. So you scroll down using this arrow right here, the arrow that you see right here, you scroll right down here. Now, once you scroll here, you will see the timeline of this video. This is the timeline of this video. And as you see, this video is eight minutes. Now, with a video that is eight minutes and short, I always recommend to put only two cards. Put only two cards for videos that are eight, six, seven, five, minutes but videos that are longer than eight minutes you can put four cards three cards depending on how long that video is for this video i've inserted only two cards as you see this is the first card right here and this is the second card now this is how to add the cards okay so you just click on this plus sign right here they add a card sign right here so once you click on the plus sign you see these options there is video playlist channel and link now for the cards I always recommend to put both the video and playlist and i'm going to explain more about this the reason why you also need to add a playlist now before you choose whether a video or a playlist you need to do this first so you click on the timeline and choose where you want to add that specific card from the timeline for example, if you want to add a card at the fourth minute of this video, you just move around this pointer to where you want to add that card. You just move this pointer to where you want to add that card. For this example, I'm going to use the fourth minute right here. And what I'll do next is to click. I just click here on the fourth minute. And when I click there, this arrow, that the arrow that you see here, this line that you see here, it will literally point where I've clicked. And once it points there, what I'll do next is to go back to the plus sign. They add a card sign here and I click on this plus sign. Once I click on the plus sign, I'll choose a video or a playlist. As I said, you can add a video or a playlist. So for this case, I'll add a video. Now, once I click on video, they'll bring me the entire videos on my channel. So I'll literally scroll down and choose a specific video that is related to this particular video that I'm adding these cards to. You have to make sure that when you're adding cards to your video, if you're adding a card in a particular video, make sure that the videos that you're inserting in those cards are related in that particular general video that you're adding the cards to. So for this case, I'll add this video. Now, after adding the card, you scroll down to confirm whether the card has been added. As you see, this is the card that has been added, the card right here, okay? So once you add the card, you can now save. And the reason to why you have to add your playlist, it really means that whenever this video will be going, it will be going with all other videos that are in that particular playlist. I explained more in my previous video. If you want to watch that video as well, I'll place it at the end of this video. So watch to the end and I'll place that video at the end screen of this video and go watch that video. It will help you to actually get more knowledge about this about how to maximize your views using these three features 
All right, we go to the third option, which is playlist. How to create playlist the right way. So what you do next, you just scroll down under the same video. As I said, these are video details. So you scroll down slowly until when you see playlist. The option is right here. Now, when you reach here at playlist, what you do next, you click on this arrow right here. These are my old playlists or the playlists that I've already created on my channel. So this is how to create a new playlist. You just click on new playlist right here. And when you click on new playlist, you'll see new podcast and you'll see new playlist. So you click on new playlist right here. Now, when you click on new playlist, you add the title of the playlist. You have to make sure that you put the videos that are similar. For example, if you make skits and you make skits that are related, skits that are in series, you make sure that you create a playlist that contains all the series of that particular comedy skit. Don't create a playlist and insert videos from different corners. Make sure that all those videos are about the same topic. So for this case, you put the title, I'll just put in title, and you make sure that you put a description depending on the playlist. So you put a description as well, okay? And after putting a title and a description, you click on create right here. And when you click on create, the playlist will literally appear as you see right here. The playlist is here, okay? So after that, you now save. If you found this video helpful, please like it, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Watch this video to understand everything before you apply these features on your videos. Alright, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.